So hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome back to the channel. Patera with you today. I hope you've had a wonderful weekend. It has been beautiful. Fall is here. It's been our anniversary and I want to thank you so much for your kind words and support for me, my channel, my husband, my marriage. <laughs> y'all are like, y'all are so cute. I'm like, we're not as cute as we used to be, but you know what? We're, I'm still standing. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, we had our 26th wedding anniversary on Friday and we had a wonderful time. And yesterday I got the big treat of going to North Carolina to do genealogy. I've been meaning to go to one particular place for five years. I'm not kidding. And I got to go there yesterday so, you know, a picnic lunch, a packed picnic lunch and uh, a, a full tank of gas is pretty much what I got for my anniversary, but we had the best time. I'm going to put some video footage in there and I might make a separate video because this was really touching for me and important for me. Not that this is about me, but I want this to be this for you too in understanding who your ancestors are and who your people are and where you come from. And it all, it really does explain a lot on why you are and who you are, okay? And what you are, because the the gentleman that I talked about, for example, in my short that I take, I took you to the graveyard. That's where I've been wanting to go for over five years to see this. And, um, you know, you're talking about men that died for this, for the beginnings of this country. Um, literally died. So I have a six great grandfather in particularly that um, was killed at Cowan's Ford. Uh, his son, which would be an uncle to me because I come through his daughter. Okay, I come through James Dysert's daughter. And um, thank God, right? This is that moment in time where every decision that we make and everything that happens in history is important. And if one thing changed something somehow, you might not be here, I might not be here. There is a reason for everything. Um, so I got to do that. I went to um, the Burke County History Museum in Morganton. There's a, you got to go there. If you live near Morganton in North Carolina and you haven't taken your babies or, you know, on a Saturday, go visit this museum. It's for free. It's in down, it's in little downtown Morganton. So nice. Uh, do go there. And if you go into the Revolution, Revolutionary War area and room, you're going to find a lot of information on a gentleman named uh, Robert Patton. And Robert Patton was um, a very important figure at Kings Mountain. And the Dyserts served under him. And ironically, he married the Dysert daughter later. Hence, here I am. Um, but so, you know, you walk into a room and you're just thinking you're going to see things. And you see an entire, like, statue, if you will, specifically of your grandfather. Um, so I, I studied two grandfathers yesterday and went to go see some things because a lot of my family history is from that particular area before it moved to Cherokee County uh, down near Murphy. And then hence, fast forward, I'm over here in Tennessee. But that's where all that history comes from. So it's very important for you to understand who you are, what you are. And uh, if people want to understand your temper, you go show them who your Scots-Irish grandfathers were and what they did. <laughs> and then they're going to understand your personality. <laughs> I'm really serious. I am wound up with Kings Mountain all the way from here to, well, Kings Mountain and back. I mean, it's a very important part of my life and a part of my family history with the grandfathers that I have that fought there, okay, and uncles that fought there. So here's the deal. So this is what I know you want to hear. So I'm just going to say, well, first, let me say one more thing. First of all, I want to thank Jeremiah Babe for an incredible shout out yesterday. You know, that I started shouting out to his videos two years ago. And he's, I think he was like, who is this crazy girl and what's going on? And, um, you know, we've never met, but I just want to say that I really appreciate what he's doing. And um, he's trying to warn you um, and, and really get you prepared and have you thinking ahead for all the things that are happening. And I want to say that I, we just kindly appreciate James and I both listened to his video and uh, we want to thank you for your kind words. Thank you for sticking up for us. Thank you for sticking up for me. And uh, JB, we got your back, buddy. We got your back. I also want to thank Dina Carter. She's left some really nice messages and comments and I just love her. Yes, I am talking about the country music star, Dina Carter. She is so sweet, y'all. Go visit her channel. She does a lot of nice sit down discussions and she really is focused on Jesus and and uh, you're just going to learn a lot from her. Um, we don't see that a lot anymore with a lot of country music stars, uh, whether they were uh, no matter how old they are. And it's really nice to see her doing what she's doing. And thanks to MD Creekmore, my uh, East Tennessee fella, my East Tennessee fellow prepper fella. <laughs> Listen to that accent, y'all. Okay. Listen to it. All right. Yes. 
And uh, just thank you so much for your kind words and your comment. It, it, it means a lot, y'all. It really, really does. So here's the deal. I want to let you know that the situation from Friday from my live stream has been addressed. Okay. And uh, I'm going to be a professional about this. I, 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 whether you believe me or not, I'm just going to say what I'm going to say here because I, I wrestle with this. Because there's no way that I can do anything in my life to make certain people trust or believe what I have to say or not say. So all I can do is be me, tell you the truth, and move on and let God handle it. God has handled so many things for me and has blessed me in my life. And the people that at times may have been very hard on me or mean to me, there's been a lot of times where I've just said, I'm just not going to do anything. And it's, it's hard. God takes, and then it's so funny because like six months, a year, three years later, you see that God took care of it. And you, that's God's timing. So here's the deal. I address the situation. I am not, I want, I repeat, I am not going to um, put his name out there. Um, the gentleman that, the, 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 individual that you saw uh making strange comments on the live stream is not the individual from the training facility that i know of okay so i just want to say that i think that was a separate troll it might have been a buddy i mean it could have been a different name i don't know i'm just saying i think some people got that crossed up um i think that person was just crossed up to begin with so that's done and gone but like i said the situation has been addressed i have full faith that it's going to be handled just fine and that I'm not going to um, put this person on blast by um, his name. And that was never my intention to begin with. My goal is for you to use your discernment. This is not a cop out on my part. It's me having a two day conversation with God saying, okay, no, I know. Okay, this, I, this was handled. Okay, I'm trusting this and going forth. I don't need to do anything else. Okay, just believe me when I tell you. Um, and so... That's where I'm at. I know a lot of you want me to name drop and show pictures. Believe me, I could real quick. Everything is documented. Believe me, everything's documented. But I know it's going to be, it's handled. And um, that's where I'm going to leave it. So um, we're going to walk on. And But the point that I was making and the point that I was driving home Friday and the point that I'm trying to drive home now is to please use, ladies, it, gentlemen too, if you go to a facility and you're training, whether it's martial arts or any type of self-defense or weapons training or whatever, and the people that are training you, the person that is training you, drops any type of attitude, is condescending, um, perhaps their props are inappropriate. I don't know. If if you get the end, of, if you get an, an immediate impression that something's not right, then you need to end it and find somebody else. Okay, and, and use your discernment and use your judgment on how you need to handle whatever situation that you're in. There's been a lot of comments about people's stories about a lot of this. And I think it's important that people understand that and see that. Um, if you're paying hard-earned money to be trained in any form of self-defense, understand that not everybody is going to be the best for you. That's where you have to do your homework. You have to do your due diligence and understand the best and, and, and do a lot and do a, ask a lot of questions and, um, to, and, and be safe, okay? And be safe. So I appreciate you all taking up for me and, and I would never be able to express to you how incredibly grateful I am for your support. And I also understand that, let me put it to you this way. I'm not for canceling somebody. Um, I tried to call this individual and, you know, I called this individual. I didn't try. I did. I called this individual and tried to have a personal, private adult conversation with them with him and he didn't want to have that um okay um so unfortunately that was disappointing but like i said it has been addressed since so just just keep the faith y'all god is going to take care of everything that's happening you just have to do the best that you can and use the best discernment and judgment that you have we got to pray about it and we got to pray for these people and we have to pray for people that have unfortunately nothing better to do at times than to over to to just pour out their poor choices or their poor mindset or their poor whatever they have to pour it out on other people and those people need a lot of prayer 
And I'm really sincere when I say that. I mean, we, we can get mad at people, you know, fundamentally we can get mad at people for trying to bully us or judge us or lie about us um, or twist our uh, comments and content and take us out of context. Um, but believe me, God sees that. You, we can say whatever we want and think that nobody is gonna see it. We can go back and try to edit comments or delete them and do all of these things. But <clears throat> none of that's ever deleted really in time and nothing is ever, nothing ever goes away. And at the end of the day, if nothing ever happens, you're never getting away with anything fundamentally because God sees it. And I have to remember that, you have to remember that, and we have to trust God's gonna handle all of it. I have to trust that more and so do you, I'm sure. I'm, I'm assuming, but you know, we're humans and we like to think that we've got all the answers and uh, not all the time that we do. So like I said, it's been addressed. So I appreciate you being here. We're back to the regularly scheduled, regularly scheduled program. We're gonna clean out a chicken coop. <laughs> Okay, hot and heavy. We're, we're rounding out, you know, we're rounding out this hot and heavy uh, anniversary weekend with cleaning out a chicken coop. I know, but it's fall. We got to do it, right? So guys, I love you. I really do. I'm trying to look out for everybody and some people believe it and a few don't. And, um, you know, all I can do is, is, is do my best and I'm human just like everyone else. And, um, you know, Sticks and stones can break bones, but uh, words will never hurt me, right? I get it. I get it. But we have to be aware of individuals that have um, public trust and, um, you know, watch our backs, unfortunately, even with some of them. It's true. It's true. Keep praying about it, okay? Like, subscribe, and share. We appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for your support. A lot of videos coming your way. Have a blessed night. Keep praying and keep preparing. And we'll see you guys on the next.